Hello and welcome back to another Chateau de Bruges video. This week we're excited to bring you some renovation process, some garden maintenance and also we've got a new feature that we would really like your help with. As you can see the weather's still fantastic here so we're taking some time out to relax in the pool, at least some of us anyway. So while you guys enjoy the video, we're going to enjoy the pool. Roll the teasers! Today we've driven about an hour and 15 minutes over to Ravel Carrelage. Um, the plan will be to go in and have a look for some tiles for bedroom ones en suite. Um, so we're going to have a look for some grey rectangle tiles um, that will fill most of the floor and the walls. No, you got that wrong. Oh, I've got that wrong. Mosaic she, she tiles. Knows. <laughs> Mosaic tiles are going where? Floor and wall. And then the grey rectangle tiles are? Another wall. Another wall. Close. There we go. So that's why she's here, because she's in charge. Um, and we've also got to pick up some tile adhesive mm -hmm. and some tile trim as well. Um, we thought we'd video this today because we've been so impressed with Ravel Carrelage. Um, and this is where we're going to get the majority of our tiles from when we're in France. Um, so we thought we would show you around. Give you a sneak peek. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's go. So it's not going to be a particularly quick trip round Ravel because we've got Little Miss Hop along with us. But we're, uh, we're making our way in now, so yeah, we'll, we'll show you around. These are just a few of the bits that we're going to show you. I reckon they've got easily a few acres worth of just non-stop tiles. What have you found there, Danielle? Um, I found nothing yet, but we're just sort of looking at the and see if there are any grey mosaic tiles. Oh, no, no. Got plenty to choose from. Oh, so many. It's quite stressful. Yeah. This is just... A small portion and we're just in the wall the wall section at the moment as well aren't we there's a whole nother side Floor. for the floors it's very stressful we've got jake this this is the bit of gray that i was thinking yeah. about that could be an option possibly come back to those ones they look quite nice don't they yeah they look all right if that's what you were looking for <laughs> So as well as Ravel doing like fairly regular standard sized tiles, they do some really big ones as well. So as you know, I'm pretty tall as it is, just over six foot. And this tile is pretty much double me. It's one solid tile. Um, but it's also 384 euros, so we'll ignore that one. Um, I think this is potentially the one. Okay. It's got the mosaic tiles that I like. It's the grey that I like. Um, and it's got a nice picture for inspiration. And, and in my head, I'm probably thinking long shower wall with mosaic tile, small shower wall dark, and light floor, or this way, the other way around. C'est bon? D'accord. So, um, we've just finished in Ravel. We've been here for kind of an hour and a half, um, having a look around at all of the tiles. The tiles that we've chosen, 
Some were in stock, which is brilliant, which means we can take them with us right now. Some we need to order. So they're going to be five weeks for the tiles that we needed to order. They are the decorative tiles that I showed you earlier. I'll put a little snippet up on the screen now for you so you can see them. Um, we need 11 meters squared of those tiles, which came to 475 euros. So quite an expensive tile, um, but they're going to look superb. And then we couldn't have the two tiles that were with that decorative tile on the floor. So we had to go and choose a separate tile. So we found a really nice dark gray, which is quite a nice contrast to the decorative ones. Um, and we needed just under nine meters squared of them, which ended up coming out to 168 euros. So those tiles were quite a lot cheaper. Um, doesn't mean that they're any less nice. They're just in stock, which means they can sell them for quite a lot cheaper. Um, and then we've also got um, some tile adhesive, which we've got two buckets of. We have got some grout, which we've got two sacks of. And we've also got some tile trim, which we've got about five meters of. Um, and altogether, we didn't actually um, put a price on here, but today we have paid 459 euros for everything that we've taken with us. And we've also put a deposit down for the decorative tiles. And then when we come to collect them again in, in five weeks or so, we will then need to pay a further 309 euros to take those decorative tiles with us. Fingers crossed that they are here in five weeks, hopefully even less, um, so that dad can get the tiles on the wall and we can have another bedroom that's pretty much ready to go. So I'm in Ravel. Um, at the moment in this room, we're just trying to get it ready to be fully ready. Uh, so lots of little jobs, lots of finishing touches, just to make sure it looks as good as it possibly can before we have our first guests. So on the list for me right now is to take some paint stripper. And what I'm gonna do is originally, when we first did these windows, we painted over the hinges as they were already painted, that magnolia yellow. Um, so when we painted the windows white, we just went over the hinges with that same white. Um, because the windows have since had a little bit of use, opening and closing the windows is rubbing on the hinges. So it's just rubbing that paint off and it just, just doesn't have the desired effect and the desired look that we were looking for. Um, Danielle in Lutes has taken some paint stripper to the same hinges in the other room and they look really, really nice. So I thought I'd just show you very quickly how the paint stripper looks when it's actually working. And you can see what it's doing is it's just lifting the paint away from the surface. So it's kind of like just bubbling up a little bit, just making it easier to grab so that you can get that paint off. And then of course, be left with the surface that was underneath. So in this case, it will be a nice brushed metal hinge. So, just finished giving the hinges a last coat. Looking much better. 
now that those areas around the hinges have been painted again. And I think I actually prefer them with those hinges in the same metal as the window accessories. And that looks really nice. I'll just show you the ensuite as well. Apologies about the ladder in the way. Also need to put a new window in that section there and missed the bottom too, but yeah. Two windows done. Looking much, much better. There's a small gap just underneath the dresser here, just where the uh, where the tile's been cut to get around the pipes. Uh, there's just a slightly bigger gap than you can put some grout in. So what I'm going to do is I've got some filler and I'm going to chuck some filler in that space, not surrounding the pipes, but just trying to make it a flat surface so that I can then hopefully chuck some dark green paint in there, which was obviously used for the pipes and for the dark, um, for the skirting board. And hopefully that will mean that that, that space is less visible. So another busy day in the Ravel for me. Um, I've done a few bits around the ensuite today. So I've stuck a couple of additional tile trims to the tiles that we were missing from when we did the original tiling. I have also cut and stuck a tile behind the toilet just to hide all of the waste. Hello, so today we took delivery of a new piece of equipment which is going to help us massively around the uh, grounds and that is a industrial uh, chipper. Which, so we can put all the branches and all the stuff that we've cut off the trees, we can put through this chipper that's going to produce us some lovely mulch uh, wood chippings that we can then use on the beds to control the weeds. So Rachel ordered this last week when she was over here but unfortunately it only came today so she's missed out. So I'm going to get this unpacked and uh, assembled and you probably won't get a chance to use it tonight because it's already um, six o'clock but we'll get it unpacked and then tomorrow we can have a go at doing some chippings. You don't see many low flying aircraft around here, in fact you don't see many aircraft at all but that one was very low which makes me think maybe there's an airfield close. So I've got the manual which I had a look through last night and read through. Um, it's all in French so it's a little bit more uh, tricky for me. I did have a look online to see if there was an English version but this seems to be very much a French product so I couldn't find the English version. Um, but most of it's in picture form anyway and um, my pigeon French I can kind of work out what it's trying to tell me to do. So I'm going to crack on, um, start putting this together and um, I guess Jake's going to time lapse me doing so. So, Jake, hit the time lapse.
Right, so there you go, chip is assembled. So it's a great piece of kit, it's going to be a great asset to the chateau. So thanks Rachel for allowing us to buy it and um, I'll send a video of me using it shortly. Good morning, so you're joining me this morning in a new room yet to be named by us other than the working title of Bedroom 1 which you see on the floor plan we've been sharing with you. This is the next room we're going to start de decorating, uh, renovating. Um, there's obviously the bedroom just the other side of the door here and this is the ensuite to that room. So we've done the, um, we've done the floor plans which have been agreed by us all by committee. We've done the floor plans for the bedroom. Danielle has done the design plan, so she knows exactly where she's going design-wise. And I've done the complete renovation plan, so we know all the work that's required to reach our end goal, in what order it needs to be done, and at what stages uh, other people's responsibilities start to impact mine, so we can all keep ahead of ourselves. So I get the job of, uh, of first on site, so I'm gonna be starting today by taking out this uh, rather dated uh, shower cubicle. All I'm going to do this morning is to turn off the services to this shower, disconnect the pipes behind here, dis disassemble this as much as possible and then that will be ready for me to start investigating the new services, waste and, and, and bits and pieces for the walk-in shower we're going to have in, in here. Once that's done I'm then going to investigate where I can get um, toilet waste services into the corner behind the camera there there's no wc in here currently so i need to run a new um, soil pipe but we do have waste for the shower and waste for the um, for the sink all of the all of the waste goes down into the into the sewers as well so we don't have a different um, dirty water and soil pipe access it's all going to the same place so as long as the pipe is big enough where it's going out I can run the toilet into those with a new 100mm pipe. If not, I have a plan of how I can connect to the, to the um, sewage system fairly straightforward. So that's what I'm going to be up to in the next uh, few hours. So I'm going to crack on. Um, you may see uh, another cameraman with me at some point during this process. Don't worry about that. It's just be for, a, for a, a channel we're, we're filming for for showing the new year so to so watch this space for more info that can't say any more at the moment uh, other than that hope you enjoy watching and um, i'll be back to you soon So I'm happy to report that uh, with some careful chiseling around, the use of some super glue and plenty of welding um, solution, I'm now happy that I've got a connection into the existing soil pipe with a new piece of soil pipe that's going to be watertight and, um, and airtight and do what we need it to do. So happy with that. I'm just, gonna, I'm just letting that go off for. For a little while, it doesn't take long with this solvent weld. I've also got managed to get a bit of an angle coming out of there as well, so I've now got a good angle to put in a small piece of pipe 
angle back that way and I should be exactly on my my line of where I want to come up for the for the toilet way. So I've pretty much got the soil pipe run. Uh, just need one more 100 mil straight coupler at this end just to then connect my flexi waste you see there which then comes up to where the WC is going to be. So that's pretty much done. It's dry laid at the moment so I need to go back and uh, solder weld those in once I've dry laid everything but the next thing to do is to use the connectors to connect the shower waste back in there into the 100 mil pipe and then everything is reconnected as needed and once I'm happy with that I can solder weld it all on so I'm going to go ahead and get that shower waste connected into the 100 mil pipe So my next job today is to look at reupholstering this chair. Um, you can see I've already painted it and I've already done one uh, a couple of weeks ago so I'm doing a second one to go into the room Ravel. What I'm going to do is put it on time lapse, I'm going to put the material on where I want it and then start stapling. Wish me luck! So I've moved to the floor just to show you um, how to do what I think is called a tulip uh, corner or tulip pleat um, on this corner here. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Did you have a nice dinner? So first staple I do in line with uh, the decorative part here. So I've got a decorative part on my chair. Oh, safety cap off. So that's my middle bit, and then hopefully, oh, that's quite well. Just stick on top, like so. Doesn't normally go that easily, but. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> So again, um, I'm going to show you the back. These are slightly different. Um, we have some chairs very similar to this that have this um, exposed, so the wood exposed. However, the ones that we receive with these, uh, the material covers the back, which makes my life slightly harder um, because it is quite difficult. But I'm going to give it a go, and essentially the um, the edge of it will be stapled on the outer edge in line with this wood um, and then that will have decorative pins over the top as well so it'll look something like that um, with the decorative pins all the way along the edge so you don't see the raw edge Just to finish off today then, I'm going to cut the raw edges to make them nice and neat and then hopefully when my decorative nail gun comes, I'll be able to get some nice decorative pins all the way around the border and the chair will be complete. So you join us in the cuisine at the Chateau and we're going to do a new feature for you this week and it's going to be uh, a feature where we're going to try out one of the recipes that we do, what we plan to serve to our guests when they come and stay at the Chateau. Now we would like your suggestions as to what this section of the um, blog, vlog should be called. We're going to do a new recipe for you every week so please use the comment box below to tell us what you think this section should be called. Now this week 
I've lucked out and I'm doing the starter. So the starter this week is going to be 